St. Tony here with St. Tony's Heating and Cooling. We're in a garage in Meridian, Idaho, and this is a 90% gas furnace. That's the efficiency that it is. This is a Goodman unit. We're gonna show you what it looks like to do a proper maintenance. We're gonna clean the flame sensor, a carbon monoxide test at the end. Let's get into it. This Goodman furnace is a good example. Once we take the door panels off, we can get to the heart of the system. That's where the detailed inspection really starts. First step, I always start by shutting out the power to the furnace at the breaker, safety first, before doing any work. Now I'm checking with my multimeter just to make sure that the power is truly turned off. Now I'm pulling out the flame sensor. This part detects the flame when your furnace lights, and if it's dirty, it can shut your system down. I use a Scotch-Brite pad to gently clean it. That removes the oxidation buildup without damaging the sensor. Once it's nice and clean, I reinstall it and reconnect the wire so it's ready to work reliably again. I got the flame sensor back in place. That's it right there in front of one of the burners. Now let's clean the burners. As part of a complete tune-up, we actually remove the burners so you can inspect and clean them properly. This isn't something you'll see in a five minute quick check. It takes time, but it's the right way to keep your furnace running safely and efficiently. Here's one of the dirty burners after removal. We use a stainless steel brush to carefully clean off any buildup. A clean burner gives you a stronger flame, better combustion, and safer operation throughout the winter. Here I'm testing the hot surface igniter. This one's reading 49.4 ohms, which is right where it should be on a five-year-old Goodman furnace like this one. Typically a healthy igniter will measure somewhere in the 40 to 80 ohm range. If it starts drifting much higher than that, it means the igniter is wearing out and could fail soon. Better to catch it now before it leaves you without heat. Now I'm setting my psychrometers in the return air here, and then I'll put one up in the supplier in the register here, one of the registers closest to the furnace. This gives me the temperature split, which I compared to the unit's nameplate. That tells me if the blower motor is moving the right amount of air so the system runs both safely and efficiently. Here you can see the live readings on my combustion analyzer, which I use to confirm the furnace is burning fuel safely and efficiently. Finally, I also confirm with my CO monitor, carbon monoxide monitor, at the vent inside the home and throughout the house. It reads zero parts per million, meaning the air in this house is safe to breathe. So before the first cold snap hits, don't fall for the $29 tune-up gimmicks. Call or text winter ready to 208-995-6891. Don't wait. Spots fill fast. Let's get your furnace taken care of the right way. And until next time, blessings.